Hey, welcome to the show. Check this out. It's a big multiplication problem. Don't worry, I'm going to show you a secret on how to do it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. So I have 387 times 52. When we do multiplication like this with a double digit number, we're only going to be working with the two at first. That five can get in the way, it gets a little nervous, gets a little scary, like a big hairy spider. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sticky note. And if you don't have sticky notes, you can always cover it up with your, with your hand or your sock or a piece of paper. Well, don't use your sock maybe. And I'm just going to cover that up right there. And now it's not that scary. No, it isn't. So now I can just easily do my multiplication with the two. So two times seven, what would that be? 14. So I'm going to put a four right here and then I'm going to carry the one. I'm going to add that one in a little bit. So now I'm going to take two times eight equals 16 plus the one equals 17. So I put the seven right here, put the one up there. All right, let's keep on moving. So I have two times three equals six plus the one, seven. So I have 774 so far. We're not done yet. Now I have to work with this hidden number underneath there. Got to make sure there's no spiders underneath there. Whew. Now I'm going to take that post-it note and I'm going to cover up this too because we've already worked with that. All right. Look at that. Now it's easy cheesy. I'm going to take 5 times 7 equals 35. Where do I start with the writing the 35? right below that five. So I put the five right here and I put the three up here. Now, at, you know, at first it's like, okay, I got all these numbers. Do I add the one? No, just kind of cross this out here and you cross that number out here. Later on, you're, you're going to ignore it. You know, the more multiplication you do. So now I'm going to work on this number here. Five times eight equals 40 plus that three up there. That would be 43. So I put the three right here and I carry the four up there. All right. All right, let's move on. Five times three equals five, 10, 15, plus the four, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah. So I put the 19 right here. I'm going to move this post-it note here. So now I have these numbers here. When you write these numbers, make sure you're writing them very neatly and in the row. Um, I probably should have moved my three over a little bit. So you don't want to get those numbers mixed up. Now I'm going to add these two sets of numbers. All right, so four plus zero is just four. And then seven plus five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And I carry that one, I put it right up there. Seven plus three, seven, eight, nine, 10, plus the one, 11. Put that one up here, nine plus one, 10. Put the zero here, carry the one, one plus one, two. So here is our answer. 20,124. Awesome. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. What did I tell you? Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show. Hey, I'd sure appreciate it if you could take a look over there at that link. That's a link to my new channel called Dino Math. On that channel, we have everything related to dinosaurs and mathematics even some Beyblade excess. We're having such a fun time on that channel. I'd sure appreciate it. Go over there, hit that subscribe button to that. Take a look at some of those videos. And I hope you're getting outside and just enjoying the day, getting out and playing, you know, uh, kicking the ball, taking bicycle rides, just being creative and playful. Have a great day out there. We'll talk to you later. Adios. Goodbye.